We are in Microsoft Exchange and this is version 2010, although yours, you could also do this in 2007 or 2013. And I'm going to show you how to keep your, uh, your voicemails that are coming from your, vo your phone system from going into uh, the spam filter. So this is a real problem that even if you open it up in Outlook and say allow anything that's coming through uh, that may be a WAV file that's coming through your phone system, just go ahead and let through, it still gets blocked. And that's because it happens at the Exchange server itself. It doesn't always happen in, in Outlook. So what we want to do is open up the Exchange Management Console and in your... Um, uh, 2013 go to the ECP website and you can go to get to the same place by drilling down and you'll go to exchange uh, and you go to organization configuration and hub transport and on the right hand side go over to where it says transport rules and all you have to do is create a simple rule so you right click and choose new transport rule and a little wizard comes up and there it is so you're gonna say uh, <clears throat> don't anything you want to call this is fine yeah do not block wave files make sure the rule is enabled you can put a little comment on why it is you're doing this click next and what we're gonna do is uh, check a box as we scroll down here Scroll down almost to the bottom where it says when any attachment file name matches text patterns. Go ahead and check that box and then click on the text pattern and put in star.wav. Now it's possible your phone system might do an MP4 or some other uh, extension, but that is the most typical one. If you get the error when you put in star.wav, just put in .wav. It just depends on which version of Exchange you're in. So we'll just do .wav in this one, although I have had to do star.wav in other ones. Go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to click Next. Now let's go ahead and click the Set the Spam Confidence Level and change it to 1. That'll give it the most confidence. Then go ahead and click Next, Next, and New, and Finish. And now we see our rule under Transport Rules. Uh, go over to Global Settings and just make sure you have the Transport Settings inside uh, the global settings. Uh, if not, then it won't apply anything that's under the transport rules. Now that is there by default, so you shouldn't have to put it there. Now, just in case it's not, just go ahead and add in the new transport rule and then just choose this uh, default rule. Now if you still have any problem with uh, having WAV files go into the uh, spam filter in Outlook, then just go ahead and go into Outlook and make sure that you also do a similar rule that says do not block WAV files. And uh, then it won't happen either at Exchange or at Outlook, and then they should go through just fine.